As we know, uh, atrial fibrillation is the most common arrhythmia in the world. And um, the, the system that was commonly used to, to isolate the pulmonary veins to treat atrial fibrillation um, was based on radio frequency current in conjunction with the 3D mapping system. However, we also know that the learning curve for the system is, is quite long. And uh, so also the system itself is limited to a certain number of centers worldwide. And uh, so I think it's, it's quite necessary that we also have uh, other treatment options, other ablation systems available for, for this huge amount of patients. And uh, the cryo balloon was introduced many years ago and uh, seemed to be quite effective, um, acutely effective and also um, concerning long-term results. Uh, however, so far there was never a head-to-head -head comparison comparing radio frequency current versus cryo balloon ablation. And uh, the Fire and Ice trial, which was just recently published last Monday, is the first one that really compares head-to-head -head both ablation systems and uh, revealed very interesting results. What kind of systems can be used? I mean, actually, both systems can be used. Both systems are established. But uh, so far, we had only single-center experiences concerning long-term results and so on, but no uh, multi-center prospective head-to-head -head comparison. And now it was shown for the first time that uh, cryo-balloon ablation is non-inferior to, to radiofrequency ablation. And I think that also widens um, the opportunity to perform ablation to a um, broader range of uh, hospitals and so on, since we know that cryo-balloon ablation is easier to learn. And at the same time, it uh, has the same efficacy as radiofrequency ablation and also leads to the same long-term results.